Welcome to this new video by Simply Learn. In this video, we are going to understand a few SEO algorithms. But before we begin, consider subscribing to Simply Learn and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates from us. In 2019, Google introduced the BERT bidirectional encoder representations from Transformers update, a significant advancement in natural language processing designed better to understand the context and variations of search queries. As a result of this update, websites were impacted positively. The algorithms enhanced understanding of natural language, allowed it to be better interpret and match user search queries with relevant content on the website. Google's BERT update improved the accuracy of search results by understanding the context of queries, website experience, and increase in relevant organic traffic. The website's content was better positioned to answer users' questions and provide valuable information, resulting in higher user satisfaction and increased time spent on the site. Here we have seen the positive impacts of algorithm updates. However, there can be negative impact as well. So let's understand different type of search algorithms and how they work. But before we begin, here is a quick note for you. If you are looking to become a certified digital marketer in 2024, then you are at the right place. Introducing Purdue Postgraduate Program in Digital Marketing, which will be your all-over companion. With this program, you will ace in keyword research, search engine optimization, behavioral marketing, campaign management, social media marketing, content marketing, and much more. With this technical expertise, you will also gain complete hands-on learning with the tools like Google Keyword Planner, ChatGPT, Google Ads, and Google Analytics, and there are more than 30 tools on the list. Reserve your seats first, enroll now from the link in the description box and pin comment. So let's take a quick look at what is a search algorithm. What is a search algorithm? A search algorithm is essentially the brain behind the search engines like Google, Bing and others. It's a complex set of rules and processes that these platforms use to decide which web pages to show in response to the user's search queries. These algorithms consider various factors including the content of web pages, the relevance of keywords, the quality and quantity of backlinks, and even the user's location and search history. There are several search algorithms with respect to various search engines like Google, Bing, and more. A few Google search algorithms are listed below. Google Penguin, Google Panda, Google Hummingbird, Google Bird, Google PageRank, Google RankBrain, Google Mobile Gadon, Google Fred, and Google Pigeon. So let's have a look at them one by one. Google Penguin. The Google Penguin algorithm is the part of Google's search algorithm that was introduced in April 2012. Its primary purpose is to identify and penalize websites that engage in manipulative link building practices or violate Google's webmaster's guidelines regarding the link schemes. Here is how the Google Penguin algorithm works. The Google Penguin algorithm works by scanning websites' backlinks profile to identify unnatural or manipulative links, such as those from low-quality or spammy sites, excessive link exchange, and paid links. When it detects such practices, it may penalize the site by lowering its ranking in search results, sometimes resulting in manual penalties. Google updates Penguin periodically to catch new spam tactics and refresh its data. Penalized sites can recover by removing bad links, improving content quality, and following the Google's guidelines, then requesting a manual review. Next we have is Google Panda. Google Panda is a search algorithm introduced by Google in February 2011. Its primary objective is to improve the quality of search results by penalizing websites for low quality or thin content while rewarding the sites with high quality and valuable content. Here is how Google Panda works. The Panda algorithm evaluates content quality based on the factors like relevance, depth, originality, and user engagement. It looks for thin, shallow, or duplicate content that lacks the value. The quality signals include spelling errors, excessive ads, duplication, and user metrics. Low-quality sites may seek ranking drops and decrease traffic. Google updates Panda regularly to refine the criteria and penalties. Sites can recover by improving the content quality, removing low-value pages, and focusing on user value. Next, we have is Google Hummingbird. 
Google Hummingbird is a search algorithm introduced by Google in August 2013. Unlike the previous updates like Panda and Penguin, Hummingbird is not just an update but an entirely new algorithm. Its primary focus is on improving an understanding of search queries and providing more relevant search results by considering the context and semantics of the query rather than just matching keywords. Here is how Google Hummingbird works. Hummingbird revolutionizes search through semantic search, understanding the context for precise results. It excels in interpreting conversational queries, integrates with the knowledge graph for direct answers, and effectively ranks the long tail keyword. By prioritizing user intent, Hummingbird ensures highly relevant results, enhancing the search experience. Google Bird Google BERT, introduced in October 2019, is a natural language processing model aimed at enhancing the comprehension of search queries. It achieves this by analyzing the surrounding context and variation of languages, particularly in conversational or long queries. Here is how Google BERT works. BERT's methodology involves understanding words within the sentences contextually, utilizing bidirectional training to capture relationships between the words effectively. Initially, pre-trained on extensive text data to learn language integrities, BERT can then be fine-tuned for specific tasks such as search query interpretation or text classification. With its emphasis on semantic understanding, BERT excels in recognizing synonyms, context-dependent meanings, and entity relationships within the sentences. By integrating BERT into its search algorithm, Google seeks to provide more precise and relevant search results, particularly for complex queries, enhancing the overall user experience. Google PageRank Google PageRank is an algorithm used by Google Search to rank web pages in its search engine results. It was named after Larry Page, one of the co-founders of Google. Here is how Google PageRank works. Google PageRank Google's algorithm for ranking web pages relies on multifaceted approach to evaluate and prioritize link. It accesses both the quality and quantity of links pointing to a web page, viewing external links as indicator to page authority and relevance. Links from the reputable sources carry more weight, elevating pages with numerous high-quality inbound links in search results. Additionally, PageRank considers internal links within a site, giving a boost to page well connected to others on the same website. To prevent infinite link loops, PageRank incorporates a damping factor, ensuring a fair distribution of ranking. Operating iteratively, PageRank continually recalculates web pages ranking based on link connection, reflecting the evolving web structure. Moreover, alongside the traditional PageRank criteria, Google may personalize and localize search results based on user preferences, location, and search history, further enhancing the relevance of search outcomes. Google Rank Brain Google Rank Brain is the machine learning algorithm introduced by Google in 2015 to improve the relevance of search results. Here is how it works. Rank Brain, a part of Google's search algorithm, focuses on interpreting user queries, especially the ambiguous ones, by analyzing various factors like context, search history, and user behavior. Once it understands the user's intent, RankBrain matches the query to relevant search results using the keywords, synonyms, and related terms. It continuously learns and adapts from user interactions to refine its understanding of intent and improve result relevance. RankBrain collaborates with other ranking signals like page rank and content quality to determine web page rankings and enhance Google's ability to interpret user queries effectively. Google Mobile Gaddon Google Mobile Gaddon refers to the Google's significant update to its search algorithm implemented in April 2015 aimed at improving the mobile friendliness of website. Here is how it works. With the advent of Mobile Gaddon, Google introduced a pivotal change in its search algorithm, placing the significant emphasis on mobile friendliness of websites. This update prioritized mobile-friendly sites in mobile search results, elevating their rankings while demoting those deemed non-mobile friendly. Google evaluates sites for mobile usability, considering the factors such as responsive design and readability to favor those optimized for mobile viewing. By implementing Mobile Gaddon, 
Google aimed to enhance the user experience by encouraging website owners to prioritize mobile optimization. Consequently, many website owners undertook the task of updating their sites to meet mobile-friendly standards post-mobile get on. This adaption not only improved the overall user experience but also had the potential to boost traffic and engagement on mobile platforms. Next we have is Google Fred. Google Fred is not a specific algorithm update but, but rather a colloquial term used to refer a series of unconfirmed algorithm updates targeting low quality content and aggressive monetization tactics. Here is how it works. Websites with thin Ad heavy content and poor user experience saw significant drops in ranking following these updates. Google Pigeon Google Pigeon is a local search algorithm update introduced in July 2014. It aimed to provide more relevant, accurate and useful local search results by improving the ranking parameters for local businesses. Google Pigeon prioritized local directory listing proximity and relevance, impacting the local search rankings and the visibility of businesses in geographic specific searches. So here we wrap up some of the search engine algorithms. By keeping yourself updated with the search algorithm changes, you will always ace in your SEO career. If you like this video, do share it and don't forget to subscribe to Simply Learn to never miss any updates from us. Thanks for watching. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.